Hello and welcome to the fascinating world of Mesa Verde National Park. Throughout this video, we will delve deep into Mesa Verde, one of the most important archaeological sites in the United States. Shaped millions of years ago, these cliffs are home to an ancient civilization that has survived from the dusty pages of history. The Anasazi, or as they are more commonly known today, the Ancestral Pueblo People. We invite you on an exciting journey through the stones, caves, and mysterious past of this unique ancient settlement. 1. Mesa Verde's Location and Historical Background Mesa Verde is a national park in the state of Colorado, United States of America, covering an area of 52,000 hectares. Founded in 1906, it is one of the oldest national parks in the history of the United States and was included in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1978. Mesa Verde takes its name from the Spanish words meaning green table. Ancient civilizations settled and built unique rock dwellings on this land that flourished amid barren deserts and high cliffs. But what makes Mesa Verde special? is not only its geographical location, but the cultural heritage left by the ancestral Pueblo people who lived here for nearly 600 years. More than 600 rock art sites and thousands of other archaeological finds make this region one of the richest and most important treasures in American history. 2. Ancestral Pueblo People and Way of Life Ancestral Pueblo people began to settle in Mesa Verde around 600 A.D., at first, these people built simple houses and farms in the hilly areas. Over the centuries, however, they developed agricultural techniques and became self-sufficient with crops such as corn, beans, and squash. The architectural achievements of this people also developed over time and reached their peak. Their most important buildings were dwellings carved into the rocks. These houses were built under huge cliffs and were very sheltered. This architectural style protected them from both enemies and harsh natural conditions. The Pueblo people were famous not only for their agriculture and architecture, but also for their arts and crafts. Pottery in particular was an important part of their daily life. Decorated ceramics, handmade weavings, and stonework show how much this society valued arts and crafts. Third Mesa Verde's Most Iconic Settlements Mesa Verde has around 600 rock art sites, each of which helps us understand the people's way of life and their relationship with their environment, but a few structures stand out more than others. Here are the main ones. Cliff Palace, Mesa Verde's largest and best-known settlement. It contains more than 150 rooms and 23 kiva, meeting rooms. Its massive size and architectural details give important clues about the social structure of this community. Cliff Palace was not only a residential area, but also a center of social and religious activity. Spruce Tree House, one of the best preserved buildings in Mesa Verde. With 114 rooms and eight kivas, it was built in the 13th century. It offers visitors the opportunity to observe more closely the lifestyle of the Pueblo people. Balcony House, one of Mesa Verde's most inaccessible settlements. Built on the edge of a high cliff, this structure provides important information about the defense strategies of the Pueblo people. These structures reflect not only engineering skills, but also social organization and religious beliefs. The Kivas, located deep in the cliffs, are places where the people performed religious rituals. 4. Why was Mesa Verde abandoned? Although the Pueblo people had lived in Mesa Verde for nearly 600 years, they were forced to abandon it towards the end of the 13th century. So why did they make such a decision? There is no clear answer to this question, but there are many theories. The most widely accepted theory is that drought and agricultural difficulties forced the people to migrate elsewhere. Between 1276 and 1299, the region experienced a severe drought, which made agriculture difficult. Social tensions, overpopulation, and other environmental factors are also cited as causes of migration. 
After leaving Mesa Verde, the Pueblo people migrated south to the Rio Grande and Arizona, where they established new settlements. 5. Discovery and Protection of Mesa Verde The rock settlements of Mesa Verde were virtually unknown to the outside world until the late 19th century. In 1888, two cowboys accidentally discovered Cliff Palace and announced its existence to the world. This discovery caused a stir in the world of archaeology and led to the area being studied by scientists. In 1906, the President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt, took an important step to protect Mesa Verde and declared the area a national park. Since then, Mesa Verde has become a major attraction for tourists and archaeologists alike. The work to preserve the site continues to this day, with archaeological excavations revealing new information every year. 6. Mesa Verde's Cultural Heritage Mesa Verde is not only an archaeological site, but also an important part of Native American culture. The descendants of the ancestral Pueblo people still live today in areas such as New Mexico and Arizona and continue to preserve their cultural heritage. This heritage lives on in the arts, crafts, and traditional rituals that carry the rich history and cultural identity of the Pueblo people into the present. Visitors to Mesa Verde today are not only taking a historical tour, but also getting a sense that this land is still home to a vibrant and living culture. The traditions of the Pueblo people, such as pottery, dance, and music, reflect the deep roots of this ancient society and its influence to this day. 7. Mesa Verde's Significance Today Mesa Verde is not only an archaeological treasure, but also a gateway that allows visitors to take a journey into the past. Every year, thousands of tourists visit Mesa Verde to see this ancient city and discover the heritage of the Pueblo people. Museums, guided tours, and walking routes in the park further enrich this unique experience. Also, the protection of Mesa Verde and the preservation of these unique settlements for future generations is of great importance not only for Native American communities, but for all of humanity. Because it is a symbol of how humanity can live in harmony with nature and find creative solutions to challenging conditions. Mesa Verde is a fascinating place that brings the secrets of the past to the present. The structures built here are not just stone and mortar. They also represent man's life in harmony with nature, his art and cultural values. This legacy left by the ancestral Pueblo people occupies an important place in human history, and the voices echoing in these lands continue to whisper to us from thousands of years ago. If you are interested in history and archaeology, Mesa Verde is a must-see. Thank you for watching our video. If you want to explore more and travel deeper into history, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.